Jay, wait up. I appreciate the shot, man. Thought I'd never get out of that mailroom. Lose the suit. Sure thing, partner. No problem, Emil. Just going for the look. Frank the Pog had a very small role in the first movie. You don't like it? You can kiss my furry little butt. We rewrote the plot of Men in Black 1 a week before we locked the picture and basically had Frank the Pug tell the audience what the plot was because we didn't have one. The galaxy is the best source for subatomic energy in the universe. If the bugs get their slimy claws on it, kiss the Archelians goodbye. So I thought I owed Frank a return engagement because without Frank telling the audience what the plot was, we wouldn't be here today talking. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. Frank is played by a wonderful dog named Mushu. Mushu was like a one-take genius. He would come in, do his line, or in this case, you know, hit the mark, look up at a mark perfectly every time. We made more time and got so much more ahead of schedule whenever we were working with Mushu. I'm Agent F now, Agent J's new partner. Who are you eyeballing? That's Frank. School out, dog. When it came to casting Frank the Pug, First of all, they weren't quite sure how they were going to do it, but they, I think Rick Baker um, suggested me as a, as a performer. And they brought me into Rick's shop, took a mold of my face, and made a makeup appliance that was a pug face. And actually then made teeth, gave me a set of pug teeth, because they were thinking they were gonna shoot my face uh, and then transfer that onto the dog. On the first one, we had uh, Industrial Light and Magic animate his mouth. And on the second one, we have both Rhythm and Hughes, who did all the work for Babe. And ILM did some of the work, too. So we have two different companies animating Frank the Pug. Frank's a great character. You know, he's got such a, a great voice. And just that little face has, you know, so much personality to begin with that uh, it really helps us put in the, you know, finishing touches. You humans, when are you going to learn that size doesn't matter? We watched uh, Frank in the first film. He was uh, a smaller part and it was a bit more restrained. This time he was a much bigger presence and he had to play right next to Will Smith and fill the same frame and, and you, know, you had to be as interested in him as you did in Will. Whatever, wipe your mouth. It's a high tech version of Silly Putty. In the old days where you used to take something, you put it down on a piece of newspaper and then you get the picture on there then you can pull it around and make it move. Well, we're doing the same thing except we're doing it with the original picture of the dog and inside the computer. And the end result, when it's done right, when you get good body language from the dog in the original shot married to our animation, it's a very convincing thing. Frank, you were the best dog partner a Ramulian could ever have. The prop guys actually had a fake cigar. It kind of just stood still, so we really wanted to you know, bounce around, and we actually had our animator walk out in the parking lot with a mirror and a cigar in her mouth, and like watched how it moved when she talks. And we put in a CG cigar and had it bounce around, and even had puffs of smoke when he was talking, and had little drifts, and just really came with a fun little comical shot. If you're doing a long shot, uh, it's more the, the gross movements that read, so you tend to animate just a little bit larger, and the mouth moves a little bit faster, so you can make sure you tell that he's talking. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. For a close-up shot, that's where you really have to get all the little details. You need the tongue to move exactly right. You need all these little tiny nuances in the lips. You have to avoid being too repetitive. If you keep flapping the jaw, it's exactly what it looks like. Got kids? No. Want them? You know, in natural speech, you kind of vary your mouth shapes. Your jaw may slide side to side, and you come up with little things like that to keep it feeling natural and interesting. Jay, where are you, partner? We got flush. MIB's code 101. Yeah, who did it? Some hot-looking biker chick. Want me to tailor? 